Hi, B. Today more about spiritual practice that opens and accelerates the process of enlightenment. As enlightenment itself cannot be forced or pushed, we can create favorable circumstances that will help it ease and happen quicker and smoother. We do that with practice. I'm just calling it spiritual practice for the lack of any other name I can give it. And there are many different examples of spiritual practice that we can use. Continuity and steadiness and doing it regularly is really the key. Now, existence can be experienced directly or indirectly. Indirectly, we experience existence in a human body through the third party or intermediary, which is the thoughts. We experience the existence processed through the thoughts. But we can experience this same existence directly too, and that gives us a completely different nature of experience, which we call enlightenment. It is very different from the experience we have while processed through the thoughts and experienced as physical through the human body. And while still inhabiting, experiencing the, inhabiting this human body, we can transition from one existence to another, from experience of existence directly to experience of existence indirectly. And we can do that regularly, more and more, deeper, going deeper and deeper, smoother and smoother. And we're using these different examples of spiritual practice to ease the process, to open up the process and to accelerate the process of enlightenment. It's good if you use this whole channel from maybe 12 months back onwards as a tool to get more insight into what exactly we are doing, what sort of spiritual practices we are using, how we are using them in detail, and then try and follow as much as possible. And then, of course, with your own modifications, whatever suits you better and so on and so on. But use the channel from 12, 12 months back approximately onwards as a tool. Browse through it. Find the spiritual practices that suit you and ease into them. Now, I will in this video, I will go through them reasonably quickly. And number one, of course, is always turning inwards, putting our focus inwards, inside. And doing it regularly during the day, not just when we are practicing no thinking, which is, of course, another example of spiritual practice. Practice no thinking. Practice detachment from the thoughts regularly. Then, of course, continuity, very important. Once we realize and get in touch with that which is inside, inwards, going inwards, realizing that what is inwards is not a black hole that's nothing, but it's responsive, it's alive, it's pulsating, it's knowing, it's a source of everything. Once we get in touch with that, we try and do it more and more and more often. Keep it. Keep, this, keep in touch. Keep some sort of a continuity during the day and even through the night. It starts spreading automatically. So continuity, very important. Another exercise of spiritual practice we can, which we can do regularly is whenever we look at ourselves in the mirror, understand and say to ourselves, if necessary, this is not me. This body will die, will perish, will disintegrate. But what is me or what is will go on and is going on, is not born and does not die. 
This human form is not me. Do it regularly, daily. Also try and use this I pronouns, I pronouns, I, me, myself, and so on and so on, mine. As little as possible. Talk about things whenever you can without using this I. Like instead of saying, I'm going to do this, I think this, I want to do that, I wish, I desire, I'm scared, I, 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 I. Talk more like imperson impersonal, like it needs to be done, this needs to be done. This was the feeling experienced. There was experience of this feeling. There was experience of that feeling. There were some thoughts coming about, about this or that. There was a thought about that. There was attachment to the thought about that, and so on and so on. Try using the language that, that is less personal, as impersonal as possible. Also, use meditation, but sparingly. Also, use meditation as an opening. Opening that will get you deeper. Opening that will sort of find sort of a, a crack where you can go deeper and deeper. They shouldn't be too long. They, should be, they shouldn't operate with too many different mental concepts. For the start, use the two recent ones on this channel. One about floating, empty being. And the other one about um, that which has no name. Meditation on pure existence. Start using them and use them as an opening and then just go deeper and deeper and deeper. Don't stop when the meditation stops. It is just a tool to go deeper inside, to go deeper inwards. Connect more and more with the pure existence. Also, you can use some activities that sort of promote and accelerate turning inwards. Like listening to instrumental music that is introspective, doing yoga, staying for longer periods in one posture when you turn inwards more and more and more, go deeper and deeper. And of course, very, very important, which I almost forgot to mention because it is so important, it is just always, always, whenever you can, Connect with the breathing. Connect with your breath. Do not push it. Do not force it. Do not try to orchestrate it. Just connect with the natural rhythm of your breath. That will turn you inwards automatically. And then just follow the breath. In breath, out breath, in breath, out breath. It helps if you also use the mantra. I recommend the mantra Bhutto. Because it helps stay detached from the thoughts. But breathing is the key. Following the breathing, becoming one with the breathing. In breath, out breath, in breath, out breath. Throughout the day, whatever you can. These are all examples of spiritual practice that you can use throughout the day. And help develop the continuity of deepening your connection with pure existence. Smoothing yourself through the process of enlightenment more and more and more, deeper and deeper, further and further. Just like that. Without any upheavals, without any major ups and downs or extremes, just like that, very naturally. It's a natural process for all of us to use and make it easier for this spiritual practice, examples of spiritual practice. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.